This is coming from Curly Sue over there. But <laughs> Curly Sue is just fine. Mm. Curly Sue is white. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Being here almost 30 years, so being a lot of change since I've been here, so it's nothing, not a lot of bad thing, but most of it's good since I've been here. I came here with a young woman. I was uh, 26 years old, and now I'm 55 years old. So a lot of happened <laughs> since I've been here. Sometimes if I feel like I'm not being treated fairly, I will bring the subject and I say to them, listen, this is, this is me. You know, I'm black. And I'll be black with they, until the day I die. Or take it or leave it. You know, um, I'm an intelligent woman. I have a degree. I graduate from schools. And uh, if uh, I know it, I know it. If I don't, I don't. But don't judge me because I'm black. Don't, you know, misjudge me because of the color of my kid. When you have that basic uh, education or the way you were raised, you know the way to conduct yourself. Even if someone comes to you in the wrong way, but you can teach them something and tell, yeah, listen calmly, you can explain to them. But nowadays, you know, things are a little different, especially for the young woman. So you have to be always aware where you are, who you're talking to, what kind of person, you know, you're talking to. Because a lot of people are too fast to, to judge or, you know, put you in the same cut, a, a, a cut or say, oh, like, oh, yeah, she's young, you know, she's black. So that's mean, you know. She have no no manner, no education, or you know, we have to disrespect her because she's a young woman, or she's a young black woman. No, you have to conduct yourself any way you are, you know, any manner you have, you have to conduct it a certain way, and to present yourself the way people can. Because the first impression always is impression given to people, so you have to always. Be respectful, present yourself as a respectful young person and young woman in front of anybody. I told you, don't be on that. I'm ugly. Delete that. I just woke up. This is my grade. I don't care. It's my grade. She's going to ruin my GPA. My <laughs> well, I was bullied a lot. I was bullied for my skin tone. I was bullied for being African. So I had to endure that from elementary school through high school. So it was very, very real. If I have kids, I want them to be raised in a diverse neighborhood. Um, whether it's a town or whether it's in the city, I prefer it to be diverse. That way they get different tastes of different cultures and, di and different ethnicities and they get to see people that look like them and they get to see people that don't look like them. I want them to really experience that and see what that's like because we all for the most part know that the media has very like Eurocentric views on beauty and how a woman should look and how her body should be. It's like it's a trend. It changes over time and sometimes it repeats itself. So always be you, always love yourself and you know just come to enjoy like who you are enjoy figuring yourself out enjoy like looking at the kinks of your hair and why they curl that way enjoy the melanin in your skin and why it's that deep and rich enjoy everything about yourself and don't let anybody tell you that you're not good enough the dark night hey that is the dark night I didn't change it. I didn't put that number. I put that time. It was God. God did it.